please subscribe to help you and your motorcycle perform better. My name is Dave Moss. I tune approximately 3,500 bikes per year. This is Two Click Sound. Now steal now the microphone, steal microphone, microphone. microphone. Here's a preview. F2? Yes, sir. All right, a fine old bike. What year? 92. New to this whole track Act thing, so I'll see if Actually, you can look at it. Actually, it's back in the hurricane days, yeah. It's the model after. These were great motorcycles. I want so many pink slips on one of these. <laughs> oh! Oh, it's so right. So it's supposed to go down, up, and stop. Okay. Just like the shark. So the forecoil's dead, okay. right? And with all that preload in, it's making it massively worse because you're tensioning that spring and it can't wait to ping back. Your braking needs to be longer. Right. And then as soon as you get on the gas, what happens to the front end? Problem solved. So you need to get off the brakes before you tip in. Right. And in doing that, now the bike's stable, so you drive it through the corner, not away from it. That's kind of what I started doing towards the end of the last Perfect. Yeah, so, kind of working around it to a certain extent. So make that a definitive change now. All your braking's done before you tip in. Tip in, get on the gas. Okay. Not accelerate hard, just hold it at 20%, drive it through the corner, and it'll be much more stable. Okay. okay. It just seems a little stiff to me, but... So stiff can be a function of hard. Right? right? So if it's brick hard, it's going to feel stiff. If it's super soft and you're hitting the bottom, it's going to feel the same way. So right. because your bike is so immaculately clean, we've got to get the tape measure out because we can't see what's what. How many miles are on it now? 30,000. Have you ever serviced the forks or the shock? Absolutely. Just did the forks uh, last month. What about the shock? Uh, not the rear. Not the, not the rear. rear. Okay. You're bouncing around a lot on the back though. Yeah, I keep kind of uh, bouncing around, especially coming around the corkscrew to the right hand. Yep. I think I just have a really bad line. Okay, and it's the original shock. Yeah. This tin plate is removed when it's serviced, and then you see a tire valve and cap on it there. So this is your original oil in the shock that's 20 years old. Okay, put your hand on top of that. As the shock comes up, tell me what you feel. It feels like it kind of stutters. Okay, now if you watch your exhaust, Is it bouncing? hops, right? Yeah. That's air in your shock, not oil. Oh, fun. I know it's bad for my brakes. Can't be good for my So as you decelerate, it rockets back up and then it hits that w bump wall there, mm -hmm. and then the hydraulics takes over. So if you have too much travel, it's bang and tsh. Okay, what were you saying? I said I felt like a whole new bike. Okay, what were you saying? It's still not hopping, so that change definitely set everything straight. Well, I could feel it too, because the corners that I was getting the hop in, because I'd get it outside of the corkscrew, and then the corner that leads up the hill towards the corkscrew. Six. Yeah, six. Anytime I went in with any amount of speed, it would kind of pop me all the way to the outside. Okay. Now I'm just able to stay in, in the line, basically. Catch the full video at DaveMossTuning.com. Dave Moss can tune your suspension no matter where you are on the planet via his remote tuning service. Contact Dave on Facebook or by email, Dave at DaveMossTuning.com.